Before we get further into the Giuliani news, we have a correction via NBC News. Earlier today, NBC News reported that there was a wiretap on the phones of Michael Cohen, President Trump's longtime personal attorney, citing two separate sources with knowledge of the legal proceedings involving Cohen. But we've got a correction to that now. It's not a wiretap where they're listening into the phone calls, but something else specifically. Let me bring in uh, my colleague Tom Winter here to explain. There's always a difference here when you hear the words wiretap and surveillance mm -hmm. and the, the, de the, the level of detail of the surveillance. Sometimes it's monitoring when a phone call comes in. Sometimes sure. it's overhearing. Explain what we reported and what we now know. So, Chuck, uh, based on information from two independent sources who have a long-term track record of uh, credibility and providing accurate information to this news organization, they today, uh, uh, earlier today, based on that information, we reported that there was a wiretap on Michael Cohen's phone, meaning that they were able to uh, listen into conversations uh, from phone lines associated with Michael Cohen uh, to any other person that he might have talked to. And in part of that reporting, we said one of those phone calls was between a phone line associated with Michael Cohen and the White House. Uh, now three senior U.S. officials are telling us that uh, this is a, uh, it was not a wiretap. Instead, it was what is referred to as a pen register. Uh, in plain English, that means it's a log of phone calls that were made uh, from specific phone line, from a specific phone line or specific phone lines. In this case, mm -hmm. we know Michael Cohen had several phone lines. And so in this case, they were able to see who he called or who somebody using his phone lines called, but they were not able to listen in real time or record those conversations. So it's an important distinction, Chuck. I want to I want to add to that by saying that it doesn't change necessarily the legal bar here in order to get a warrant of this type. It's still a very serious matter because they right. would have needed to fill out a significant affidavit uh, and, and be able to go down a significant road to get this approved by a federal judge.